Picture piano concerts set to crashing waves and ballrooms packed with socialites. This Gilded Age mansion is from another era and it's now the most expensive home for sale in Essex County, Massachusetts. The estate is in the town of Beverly and has a $22 million price tag. If it sells for anywhere close to that, it would set an all-time sales record for the county, which lies just north of Boston. It's known as Rock Edge Estate, and for good reason. The mansion presides over the rugged Atlantic shore and part of what was once considered the region's Gold Coast. The red brick Georgian Revival Mansion was built in 1904 and sits on three acres. It's close to 28,000 square feet, roughly half the size of the White House, and was built with grand proportions. There are 11 bedrooms and 12 bathrooms, and almost every room has ocean views. Period details include 14 fireplaces with custom mantles, as well as hardwood floors and decorative columns. There's even an old telephone room, a closet-sized nook that once housed the estate's only phone. The mansion also has a formal dining room, a music room, a game room, and a wood-paneled study, plus several terraces. There's a two-bedroom carriage house, a seven-car garage, and a restored cabana by the beach that's original to the property. But my favorite feature is its history. Rock Edge was home to one of the greatest women athletes of the early 20th century, Eleonora Sears. She was a star tennis and squash player and an accomplished equestrian. Sears was inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame in 1968, and on top of that, she was a competitive race walker and one of the first women in her area to drive a car and fly a plane. She was also a fashion trendsetter who was widely criticized for wearing trousers in public. Sears was well-connected, and guests at the estate included Judy Garland, Harold Vanderbilt, and Cole Porter, who played piano for visitors on the lawn. The home underwent a full renovation more recently, which included updating electric, plumbing, and heating systems, and replacing the roof. The renovation also included a kitchen upgrade with Carrera marble countertops and ample wine storage. This is a kitchen built for serious cooking, and at 1,500 square feet, it's about half the size of a tennis court. The owner, Charlie Benevento, inherited the property from his father, who purchased it in 1970 directly from Eleonora Sears' estate. Sears lived there from 1940 until her death in 1968 at the age of 86. Today, she might have appreciated the many updated walk-in closets. Beyond her athletic pursuits, she was a champion of women wearing trousers, something we can all be grateful for. Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe and comment below to let us know what you want to see next.